EcoCycle's Zero Waste video series. Last week, we talked about why recycling is important, and this week, we're going to talk about what can be recycled. Did you know that what I can recycle in my curbside bin here in Boulder County might be different from what someone can recycle in Austin, Texas, or even in nearby Denver? That's because recycling guidelines change from place to place. So why aren't recycling practices the same everywhere we go? Can't we just make universal recycling guidelines for what can be recycled and put universal recycling signage on recycling bins and put a universal symbol on all recyclable containers? Problem solved, right? Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Whether something is recyclable does change from community to community, and that's because what is or isn't recyclable in your area depends on three things. One, is there a local facility that can process that material? Two, is there a dependable, accessible market for the material? And three, will that market pay enough for the material to cover the costs of collecting, processing, and transporting it? Let's take a closer look at each of these factors. One, local facilities. This refers to the actual recycling facility and the sorting equipment and technology that it may or may not have. It also refers to the infrastructure involved in recycling collection. So if we're talking about recycling a plastic bottle, for example, we need to think about do we have trucks to collect the bottles or do we have a drop-off center where people bring their bottles? How far away is the nearest recycling center that processes recyclables for market? If it's many miles away in another part of the state, that carries a significant additional financial burden for the program, which is a huge issue for rural communities. At that recycling center, do they have an economically feasible way to sort number one bottles from number two jugs and separate them from all the other materials? For example, do they have lasers or hand sorters? Now let's turn to markets. It's one thing for us to be able to collect and sort recyclables, but then someone has to actually buy them to physically turn them into something new. Whoever is buying that material from the recycler is called the market. And that brings us to criteria number three, the market's value of a recyclable. There are, of course, costs involved in collecting the material, sorting it at a facility, and shipping the material to the market to make it into something new. The market needs to be paying a price for recyclable materials that will cover those costs and have at least some profit margin for the recycler. These three things vary widely from place to place, and that's why recycling guidelines are different from place to place, and that's why the concept of creating universal recycling guidelines isn't possible right now. There are some general commonalities around the materials accepted in a community if they have recycling services. Most programs, even if they're very rural, will accept aluminum cans, steel cans, and corrugated cardboard. That's because these materials are usually valuable enough to pay for themselves. The closer you are to a large city, the more materials are added to that basic list. So, how do you know what's recyclable for you? Knowing what is or isn't recyclable where you live is extra confusing because of the prolific use of the recycling symbol on so much packaging out there. Much of it is stuff that isn't really recyclable anywhere. For example, you'll find the recycling symbol on almost all plastics, but actually, most plastics out there aren't recyclable. Right now, we can't control who puts the recycling symbol on their product. And as we've learned, recycling guidelines change from place to place. So if I have a yogurt tub and I'm looking for a label to tell me whether or not it's recyclable, that yogurt tub doesn't know whether I'm in Boulder County or rural Australia. So while it may be recyclable here, that doesn't mean it's recyclable everywhere. So the best way to know what's recyclable in your area isn't to look to the product to tell you, you should look to your local guidelines from your hauler, your local recycler, or your community's government. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.